one fine morning in a routine uh, blood check, because you have had fever, in a routine blood check, you discover on the very day that you have been promoted as a regional manager, yeah. and when uh, all your friends are congratulating you and calling you up, that's the day you discover that you actually have one of the most aggressive and one of the most uh, dangerous forms of cancer that there is. Exactly. Tell me about that day, just that day. So yes, uh, on that fateful day of uh, 18th of November 2008, and just to put context to the dates so that everybody can uh, remember, this was exactly a month before the... the, the 26-11 attacks. 26-11 yeah, happened yeah, in yeah. Mumbai. Mm. And um, so I was just like a normal guy, as you said, and um, I had some fever. Normal guy, I was a fit, fitness freak. I used to go to the gym, I used to run. Um, I had quit smoking long back and all that. So um, just a normal fever, which nobody would expect it to become this. And after my blood test, I was just having tea on a, on a tapri, as we call it. And this lab guy called me and he said, I want to talk to your doctor. I said, what's wrong? I mean, why do you want to talk to my doctor? Just tell me what it is. He said, no, no, we can't talk, tell you. I got curious and um, I didn't let him go. I said, no, you tell me what, what is off the record or mm. off the track. Mm. You know? So he said, your uh, white blood cells, which are our you know, protector cells, mm. um, they are out of range. I said, how much they should be? He said, around less than 10,000. I said, are there 20,000? He said, no. I said, 50? I kept roading. He said, no, more. I said, is it 1 lakh? He said, no, even more. I said, is it 2 lakhs? He said, yes. So your blood, blood uh, WBCs, which had to be less than 10,000, were 2 lakhs. So I just went uh, to my Google and uh, to my desk and Googled it. And I realized it's something called leukemia. And till that day, honestly, I had no clue what leukemia what is. What leukemia is, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'd heard the term for the first time. And then when I saw the description, it was blood cancer. Now, I was like shaken, of course, but I didn't trust the report. You know, I would mm -hmm. live in denial. Mm -hmm. And, um, but somewhere in my heart, I felt maybe if it's true, then I have to act on it fast. So without wasting time, I, I, I went to the lab, collected my reports and went straight to the doctor who had referred me earlier. And she said, don't waste even one hour. Go and meet a doctor. She gave me a, uh, the name of the doctor who's in Hinduja Hospital in Mumbai. And uh, she said, tomorrow morning, first thing you have to do this. So next morning I went, the doctor told me, uh, you have, the, he confirmed, reconfirmed that you have blood cancer. And I was sitting in his cabin. I could see the beautiful ocean right on, on my left side and waves crashing against the stones. And it was a beautiful view for anybody else. But for me, that day, it, it was totally, you know... I surreal. Was, yeah, it was totally surreal. And uh, my wife was sitting outside the glass cabin. So she saw my reactions. My friend Kostar Deshmukh was with me. And, uh, and it was like we were shattered. And then he, he said, today only you have to start chemo because you can't wait. Yours is a very aggressive form of blood cancer. So I was aggressive. My cancer was also aggressive. And uh, so the doctor said, get admitted now. Um, they were doing bone marrow on me. Uh, bone marrow is when you have to lie down on your stomach mm -hmm. and they take marrow from your hip, uh, hip bone. Uh, bone. And, uh, and I was getting these messages from my friends, my colleagues, that congratulations, you become the regional sales manager. And they were saying, yeah, you're not taking my calls. And, uh, and so see the coincidence that, you know, on one hand you get this, this news and Good that news. Good news and devastating news. Shattering news, news mm -hmm. yeah, at the same time. Mm -hmm. So... Then the doctor said, okay, get admitted now. I said, can I go home for two, three hours? Because I have a very young son. And the way they all spoke and made me feel, I felt I may not go back home. So she kindly allowed me, Dr. Asha Kapadia. And uh, I said, I'll just go home, spend some time with my son and uh, come back. And then we went home. Uh, we went to an ice cream parlor. We had ice cream together. And... I was looking at him in a very different light that day. Okay, suddenly I felt, you know, this may be it and, you know, I can't even see him after that. So then we left, of course, he was too young to, and we didn't tell anything to him. Of course, he was too young. And then we came back to the hospital and then the treatment started and, you know, it is a prolonged treatment, very harsh treatment. 